What's up guys, in today's video, we are gonna be fishing out of the John boat we made. I don't know if any of you guys have seen that video, but this is the boat that we made, and we're gonna be testing it out today. It's been a while since we've gone fishing in this once. That video was a fail, we caught one fish. But today we're gonna be testing it out and see how it holds up to us fishing. So this pond that we're fishing at, as you can see, it's this pond holds Luke's personal best bass. We are not sure if these bass are on beds or not. If they're pre, they're either pre-spawn, post-spawn, or on beds. So either way, we have a decent chance of catching a giant today. But look at that, fish just jumped right there. All right, let's get to fishing. Well, first we gotta launch the boat. So this is how we launch this good old boat right here. So we take it and face it up a little bit and we give it a good old uh, push right into the water, right here. Oh look, I think they might be on beds. I think they might. And then, just like that, we're in. And I, oh my gosh, there's fingerling bass everywhere. Everywhere, little fingerlings. And this water is crystal clear too. I don't see any beds, but we'll just have to cruise around and see. I'll definitely be throwing what I'm throwing right now. But millions of little fingerling bass about that big. It's crazy. We didn't charge the trolling motor since last time, but let's see if she'll hold up. Let me go reverse. So first things first, I want to go down here, and because this is the shallowest spot in the pond besides the other bank, but I, I just want to see if they're on beds. So we'll sneak up over there and we'll just see if they're on beds or not. All right, now we'll go. We've got the most important part of the day, the camera. All right, we're at your house. All right, bye. Got him. There we go. Little one. Little guy on the swim bait. I, just, I knew there had to be a fish back there. Little dink. Dink or tin. Little dink. Tiny guy. There we go. Look at how small he is. Choke that swim bait though. Oh, well, they, here, all here. these fish love these swim baits. Look at that. First cast. He would have crushed that fluke, but man, is he fat, fat fish. There we go. First fish of the day. Woo! Oh, that was a hit. Got him. There we go. Not that bad. Second fish on the swim bait. There we go. Second fish on the swim bait. Let's get him around here. This one's a little bit bit better. We're getting we're getting higher. We're getting bigger. We're getting bigger, guys. We are getting bigger. There we go. Second fish. Yeah, we're probably we're we're in pre-spawn here. This pond is in pre-spawn. Oh, look at how he choked that. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. So just got this little guy. He's probably about a pounder, but I was just working that swim bait right along the bank. That's where the bank was kind of cleared right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But well, just a little guy. We'll get the release on him right here. Little dude. There is giant fish in here. So hopefully we can get on one of those big ones today, which by the looks of it so far, two fish and like probably about a 50, 50, 40 yard stretch. I think we can get on them today. Oh. That was a gel. Bluegill just destroyed that. Oh my gosh. I have my fly rod right now. Yeah, I know. Fly rod's probably gotta come next time because this is crazy. Jeez. That bluegill, I don't even know. That was a bluegill because a bass would have had that. It's crazy. I just want to see like a 10 just. Whoa. Got him. Oh my gosh. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Oh yeah. Bring him over here. I got him. This is a good one. I'm gonna flip him in. Just be ready. Oh yeah! Oh. He choked that! He choked that! Oh my gosh, hold that fish, hold that fish. I need to show I need to show the camera how that fish choked that. I saw him come up and I saw him go down with it in his mouth. There yeah, we go. Look how this thing is. Look how this thing choked it here. Water on the lens, water on the lens. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh wait. That's even worse. Let me let me fix this. Whatever. This is gonna be the best day again. Look at how he choked that popper though. I saw him come up. This water is crystal clear. Oh, have he fun came up and look at this. Out. That is not a spawned out fish. They are in pre-spawn right now, and man, are they eating! Look at how he choked that. He hit a head first on the paws. Just I got one side of the treble hook. I got out, I got but... um pliers in there, but oh my Hold gosh, him. choked it. Don't drip. Well, okay. Okay, came out. Here you go. 
This is the biggest one that I've gotten out of here. That is about a probably about a two and a half to three pounder right there. Nice fish. Let's get the Wanna release on. No, actually, yeah. Oh, I have my yeah. scale. Get, get no, right get my scale because right. no, no here, just, no. I mean, like I, I'm in a tournament, so. All right, so we're gonna do a weigh for the heavy hitters tournament, but that is not a bad fish right there at all. All right, we'll get a weight on him here. All right, so we're gonna get a weight for this heavy hitters tournament. Any of you guys can join this heavy hitters tournament if you want. What it is is it is a year long tournament that we're doing between me, Anthony, and a few other guys. So it looks like this fish is 2.2 two pounds. Pretty close there we go let's get a good old picture of them if my camera would work so what you got to do is you got to take a picture of the scale with the bass on it like just like that I got a number three on mine because I'm number three in the tournament we'll get a release on this guy now there he goes top water bass nothing beats top water nothing beats top water so what I was doing with this popper is I was just popping it and then letting it sit and then I saw like a big shadow come up behind it and then it just the popper just went away and I don't you guys can't see it though because I got polarized sunglasses on right now so I could see that whole thing and this this pond you could basically see to the bottom of this pond I don't know exactly how clear what the depth what the visibility is but I know it's really clear man but you could just see that fish just come up and choke it I'm surprised not more bluegill now that really makes me question if that really was a bluegill that came up and for it because it, it didn't it didn't really come up like like a bass would that's why i thought but neither did that that didn't explode on it that kind of just sucked it in i don't know that, that might have been a bass maybe let's try to get one more on top water here i'm probably going to give up on this in a little bit but it was pretty cool i got a top water bass i had two blow ups and got one got him there you go little guy oh little dude you know how many fish check your hook and see if they bent out if your hook bent out a little guy oh no oh but there we go the swim bait is working a lot. That's what I'm throwing right now, but oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, soon as it hit the water. Soon as it hit the water, oh my gosh. What was that? What was that craziness? Jesus. Soon as it hit the water, oh my gosh. And I found this lure. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I was up in Northern Wisconsin and I was just walking along the bank and I freaking saw this, and good thing I did, because this, look at how destroyed this thing is. Look how destroyed this thing has got. Caught striper on this, so many striper, so many largemouth. Oh my gosh, this thing was a, a gem of a find. I'm pulling off, I'm pulling off. Got him, there we go. Oh my gosh, guys. A little dink, oh no. Oh well, it was a tiny fish, it's a tiny fish. All right, I gotta pull off a little bit, all right. That was a tiny fish. That wasn't even worth it to land. I don't know if you guys even saw it or not, but he was tiny. Got him. There we go. This is a nicer one. This is definitely a nicer one. Oh my gosh, guys. It's a big one. It is a tank. It is a tank. No! No! That was like a six pounder. No! Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. I saw him jump. Oh my gosh. Guys, that was like a six pounder. Right. Jesus. No. That was easy a six. Easily a six. It was probably maybe. Oh my gosh, I knew that thing was huge when he started ripping drag. Yeah, oh I saw my it gosh, guys. No. That was a giant. I haven't caught a fish that size in a long time. Oh my gosh, guys. It wasn't personal best big, but that fish was massive. And I gotta slow it down a little bit because, oh my gosh. I gotta slow it down because he, I was like, oh, mm, I'm just mad at myself. I don't even know what happened. I'll have to look back at the footage and see what I did, but I don't even, I didn't slack up. I know I didn't. He, he pulled drag. Oh my gosh. I need to get it off this fluorocarbon. I'm fishing top water with fluorocarbon, which is a big no-no, by the way, if you don't know that. No! Got him! Drag slip. There we go. Oh, this guy's a little guy. But that one that I missed before, let me tell you, that was not a little guy. There we go. A little dink. Little dink. Little dink. Alright, let's get him in now. I had to fix. Oh, there we go. Little guy, but that one that I missed, I swear could have eaten this. The, yeah, that's how you know they're, they're pre-spawn. Look at that. That is a fat, fat fish right there. Fat, fat fish. 
insane day of fishing so far we've only been here for what how long have we been here for like an hour maybe 45 minutes to an hour insane day of fishing just little guys but they're on top water top water is amazing let's get a release on there he goes i'm still beating myself up and look i missed that big one right there i caught that one right there fishing's just insane right now insane and now my thing's caught on the carpet Oh, I still can't believe I missed that big one. We haven't really been that close either. So. Oh my gosh. Is that a gel or a no, that was a bass, I saw it. Come on, come back, buddy, come back, come back. Oh my gosh, come on. We've missed some giants today, and we have missed some small ones today. Either way, we're missing fish, which is not good in my book. And that right there is gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, is that like all blurry and stuff from all the all the gunk on there. I have to get some lens cleaners, but we're pulling the boat up now. We gotta get it out of the water. This is how we gotta do it until we get a trailer. So it just takes off that way and the boat just kind of slides up there with it. Just like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The trolling motor. Oh my gosh. That was a good, good save on my part right there. That whole trolling motor would've got jerked off. Oh my gosh. It would've got ripped right off. There we go. We saved the trolling motor. That would've been really bad. All right, but thanks so much for watching today's video. And as you can see, we had an amazing day out here. I'm not sure the fish total. Actually, I don't think she caught one. She flipped one off at the boat, but top water it turned out to be the key today. We caught a few on the swim bait in the beginning, but then I went to top water, I caught that giant, and then I missed that like six pounder that jumped me off. That was a big fish, but thanks for watching. More videos coming from the John Boot very soon. Thanks for watching. That's like the fifth or sixth time I said that, but see ya.